become best friends? Yup. You want to go do karate in the garage? Yup. Big part of friendship. I like you. Do you like me? I do like you. You are my friend. You're a nice young man, and I am your friend. Shut me. We're friends now. I don't need you anymore. Welcome to the friend request. It's your host, Chloe Madrin. How the heck are ya? Um, I'm pretty good, I think. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, guys, I think I don't really need to plug anything right now. Oh, actually, no. I'm doing my show. You know, I think this will come out when I still have a Brisbane date, May 20th. Please come. I would love to see you there. Uh, otherwise, if the date has passed already, like I'm sure it was amazing and you were there. Almost certainly. Uh, otherwise, I've also got Newcastle dates yet to be announced. And there will be dates more in more places other than Australia. I'll be coming to a city near you soon. Just hold on to those little cute little horses. Um... <laughs> Today's episode, however, is, oh, it's a treat. It's a very, very lovely time. I had an amazing guest on. Uh, he is touring Australia at the moment. Uh, he's touring so many places, though, so you can see him all over. Um, I've, I know I've got a lot of listeners in the UK, so you probably already know him well, and I'm sure you'll see him again soon. He, he was actually awarded the Scottish Comedian of the Year recently. He, it's the wonderful the very funny, very, very talented and super lovely Larry Dean. So I have to get other people to make decisions for me, yeah. I do like to ask other people to make decisions, like what, like outfits, how my hair is, like yeah, yeah. every little thing. I'm always like, oh, what about this? Why do you think that is? I know, it's almost like you're kind of going, oh, I'll have a committee. Oh, I've got like yeah. a committee of like for each thing. So I'm like, clothes wise, I'll text, I'll send a snap <laughs> to this person, this person, this person, what do you think? Yeah. And then for like, even like, ideas for show stuff i've mm -hmm. got this person this person this person <laughs> this person just because i don't trust my own opinion yeah i wonder what i'd be like i genuinely wonder what i'd be like if i actually made my own decisions once in a while <laughs> i'd be interested to see yeah i, d I don't think i don't think anybody would want to see i've got such bad <laughs> instincts on things the few times i have made oh. my own decision has been totally like um what do you call it it's just been totally flawed Really? Yeah, because like <laughs> even my what do you call it? My my agent had a go at me saying about like whenever I've hired, like got someone involved mm. on like a project and stuff, unless it's if it's just some random person. So for instance, like uh, or a, a few years ago on Upwork, mm -hmm. um, I was hiring someone to edit my videos. And literally the only people I... Because they, they've got a picture there. Yeah. So then you go, oh, I'll just go with the hot ones. Oh, my <laughs> God. You can't just go with the hot exactly, ones. Exactly. But it's an excuse <laughs> to be like, cool. Like, say, <laughs> same with like personal trainers and stuff. That's uh -huh. a good bit of advice, by the way. If you ever want hot guys to constantly message you, hire a personal trainer who's hot <laughs> and then don't pay them and they won't be messaging you all the time. <laughs> That's pretty smart. <laughs> yeah. Ego boost. <laughs> Oh my god! So, but then everyone that you hire is uh, like what useless? No, 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 not useless. Why are you getting in trouble from your agent? Because there's been there's been a, quite a few that have been useless. Okay. Um, <laughs> and then she has to like um, like basically be the one to chase. And then she's like, yeah. Uh, so she said to me <laughs> a few months ago, she was like, you are no longer in charge of hiring people. You, she, she didn't so pick funny. up on the hot thing. Oh my God, okay. My <laughs> boyfriend did. <laughs> and he was like, this is a ridiculous habit you've got yourself into. That's so funny. Um, he says, go with the ugly people. But then even that thing of like nowadays when you go online, because <laughs> it used to obviously be you look in the phone book and then you phone th for things. Mm -hmm. But now since it's online, then you can see what people look like. And that's that's bad because i like it oh no i don't i even found when i was looking for a therapist yeah i was like oh, oh but as soon as it, you, there's like a list of them and they've all got pictures yeah. and as soon as i see one with like that their hair's dyed like a like a blue or something i was thinking oh they've got their own problems <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah i think that's good I'd, I'd like to i i literally think i thought of the therapist thing as a immediate 
example of when it's good because I like being able to judge my therapist before I choose someone. No, I tried to go. Really? The, I, so <laughs> this is so bad, right? <laughs> so there's a guy who is a child psychologist uh-huh. and he is beautiful. <laughs> and I tried to get in there. <laughs> you're an by adult. Going, yeah, but literally, I was trying to go. Hey, I know you're a child psychologist, but I've got childhood stuff I need to talk about. <laughs> um, and it was just a blanket no. Oh, no, he tried to get me in touch with someone else. Yeah. And it was a woman. And I was like, ugh. Oh, my like, God. Yeah, what the fuck? What the hell, man? <laughs> what the hell? Um, so, yeah. So maybe I should work it. And what is that? Is that vanity? Uh, as to why you want the hot people? Yeah. I don't think that's vanity. I think that's being a slut. <laughs> oh, right, cool. Sluttiness. Cool. Yeah. I need to go see my yeah. therapist about sluttiness. <laughs> But now, I think all my therapists have always been, oh no, most of them have been female, but there's only been a couple of guys, never a hot one. Uh, yeah. But, oh, Barbara's is the number one. I, I think that's fine. I think that's... That's fair. It's, it's what, 20, 40 minutes or something like that? Yeah, and you get a head massage. I don't yeah. want a head massage off somebody. Someone gross? That, yeah, exactly. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't agree more. <laughs> I, I, I was very happy to like look at my therapist before getting her um because some of them yeah they look crazy they yeah. look crazy and i don't want to be i'm crazy i'm i'm the one you know it's about me yeah, yeah um yeah. and i ended up choosing someone I, I thought she looked very responsible and kind um and she was exactly that she was yeah, awesome yeah. so exactly you don't want someone when they go i understand and for you to be thinking at that point going i bet you fucking do understand. yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> i don't want you to understand yeah yeah, yeah 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 i want you to be like wow oh my god your life yeah. is crazy <laughs> 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 yeah <laughs> uh, this is the most exciting part of my day that's what you want from a therapist that's very funny um as as far as the making your own decisions things i don't know if this would apply to you but i know that i check in for every decision more so the more insecure i feel yeah you know is that do, do you think that's where it stems from uh yeah i think my yeah. level of insecurity is just an old like high all the time yeah, yeah, so yeah, i don't right. really like um <laughs> i don't know i think yeah usually cause i know always notice this thing of whenever i'm tired or whenever i'm hungry or thirsty or any of those kind of the basic things yep <laughs> then my insecurity will run rife yes and then actually funny enough somebody said to me that the one of the few people I've ever heard say about how they sorted their mental health out mm-hmm. in lockdown. And I was like, who? And she said that what she did was she actually was so strict on her sleep pattern. Yeah. Um, and she said everything else fell into place Oh, from that's there. so good. So she was like, I usually would go home after a gig mm-hmm. and then go to bed at two, sometimes three, four. And she said, then I just made it a rule during lockdown. Since I wasn't gigging, I have to go to sleep at midnight. That's And awesome. then sleep nine hours. And she said, it is like she's kept the habit going after lockdown and she's never been happier. Oh God, that's so great. Yeah, it makes is, such a big this, difference. You're getting this third hand from somebody that woke up an hour ago <laughs> and it's like at two o'clock in the afternoon. So, when did you go to bed? Uh, I went to bed pretty early for me as well. I went to bed like at half past one. That's too much sleep. Yeah, I know. I woke <laughs> up at eight thinking, oh, I could get up now. But then I knew, I knew today I've got loads of things to do. So you know that thing you think, oh, well, oh. Let's do I need way more energy than this. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> so I'm completely like, no, I'm like. Oh, still, I mean, I, I guess it's probably better to have more sleep. I don't know. I was pretty good. I was in a pretty good schedule of making sure I have eight hours sleep. Um, and then just the festival season's fucked me. Oh yeah, it's I think it's, un- one, you know? it's unnatural as oh. well. The fe- festivals are unnatural things. It's crazy, and being like in Sydney, living in Sydney during the festival here, I'm like, I have to work still. I yeah, have to do yeah. all of my general life stuff. I don't get to just have my day to prepare for the show and flyer and whatever else. Yeah, it's exhausting. Oh, so you give up vaping in the middle of the festival? It's pretty stupid, right? I think uh, I that's should, like when I, 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 I gave up smoking when I was moving house. <laughs> it's just you begin to think, well, I'm miserable anyway. <laughs> So I may as well just completely be miserable and hopefully yeah, by the yeah, end yeah. of this I'll be happy. Yeah, I think maybe I should um, keep vaping. I think that's probably where I'm going to land. I did stop after uh, Melbourne. So I let I let myself keep cool. vaping in Melbourne. But then Melbourne was was great for me. You know, I had a great run. So I was like, so yeah, great. <laughs> I'll, I'll, st- I'll stop now because I'm on top of the world. And now all of a sudden I'm like, man, why am I feeling so cunty? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's all that's... Like the problem I've got with vaping is I've given I gave up I had the flu for Christmas mm-hmm. and then so the last what time I present. felt well was like uh, before Christmas was probably like twenty third mm-hmm. and then 
So 23rd was the last day I vaped. And then I thought, you know what? Fuck it. I've already got over this um, first few days thing. I've got it all out yeah. of my system. Yeah. And then I kept it going during Perth Fringe <gasps> until like the last week. And the reason why I started vaping again is I was so measurable Aww. like it wasn't even that thing of like i always heard that the first three days are the worst like the first yeah. week is hard the first the second week's hard and then it gets better from there yeah oh okay. my god i was getting worse that's what i'm thinking it gets worse yeah it's because your dopamine levels apparently aren't fuck? at the normal rate so you need to learn what's going to make you happy oh and i'm like Ugh, Man, fuck, <laughs> a little steam stick coming out of my mouth that makes me <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's nice i also like i'm I, my whole show is about having disordered eating you know eating disorder stuff and um i'm eating way too much i'm eating so much uh, since i quit vaping and it makes me want to be bulimic again and that's bad oh I so this is going to completely spiral the thing because what's going to happen is you're gonna <laughs> like because i get the similar thing with the eating thing but what will happen is i'll um, feel insecure that I've put on weight or mm -hmm. something like that mm -hmm. and like I won't feel comfortable in my clothes mm -hmm. and it makes me feel really insecure mm -hmm. whenever I'm insecure <laughs> I start asking other people things but then I'm obviously not in a good mood so if they're not answering the way I need them to oh answer oh my god and then I think okay cool fuck it babe <laughs> yeah you're in you're you're on the stairs I'm right there. So I maybe I think the argument that vaping's healthier than bulimia is probably pretty good, right? I mean, I don't know about the bulimia, but I can say from an insecurity point of view. Yeah, I mean, I thought <laughs> I was like, I, I'll probably die like 20 years younger, but at least people will actually come to my funeral. I was just <laughs> such a horrible bastard whenever I don't vape. So it's totally worth it. Oh my God. All right. I'm going to buy one tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally, I recorded an episode before this one. Yeah. Um, and I was in that saying pretty much the opposite. Yeah, no, you're right. I'll stick with not vaping. Oh, fuck. <laughs> who, who were you doing it with? Um, Jamie Kirk. I don't know if you uh, met Jamie, him. He's not. Okay. Um, so Jamie, Jamie's like the, the angel on your shoulder and I'm being the <laughs> devil being like, nah, fuck it. Just vape, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I mean, we've only met a couple of times, but that, that feels right for you. No, I, I've got the same thing with some of my pals. <laughs> I didn't vape for a bit. And my mate Jamali was like, just vape, man. So you got so many rules in your life. Why yeah. don't you just like break yeah. one of them? I was like, oh, man, that makes a very good point. That's a good thing with vape, vapors, mm. man. They, they tend to be good at putting up an argument. Totally. At least you're not smoking. There's one. Yeah. But you know what? I did. I did. Um, sipped someone like had a drag of someone's cigarette when I quit. And uh -huh. I was like, see, this is worse. Yeah. Terrible. I, also, when when you have one as well, though, it makes you go, oh, this is dotty. I can yeah. tell it's proper dotty. <laughs> yeah. Like, you can smell it on you after. Oh, yeah. I immediately, like, wash my hands and rinse my mouth out. I hated it. Yeah, I yeah. Like, I immediately run home to do my skincare routine <laughs> yeah. and be like, get those antioxidants, <laughs> fight off the horrible tobacco. The skin is a big one. I, um, I'm so vain. It's like, okay, vaping is apparently bad for my skin and stuff, so... You know, two weeks. I'm like, my skin's no better. It's no fucking better. Oh, but you know, you know, you're fine. <laughs> I always found this when I give up vaping is uh, I sleep more, mm. and then my skin's like <sighs> lovely. <laughs> you know that thing when you wake up after nine hours and you go, oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, some, yeah. You wake up and you're like, let's. Can we do a gig now? Can we do something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Filmed now, please. Like, I look amazing. Do something come in the <sighs> middle of the night and just inject hyaluronic acid into my cheek. <laughs> You've got great skin. Thank you, mate. I've put on a lot of products today. <laughs> <laughs> got some weird rash next to my nose, man. And I'm just like, oh, cool. No. I'll put on some. I'm put on some tinted moisturizer to cover it up. I don't know what it is. I'll sort it out when I'm home. <laughs> yeah. If it's vape related, I'm just gonna have to live with this. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mushrooms growing out my cheek. Like... Um, uh, we said the other day. I was. We were talking about getting on here, and you were like, "Sweet, can we can we can talk about boys." The whole time, right? Yeah. Yeah, so let's do it. Who's hot? Who's hot? Yeah. Well, we did have an agreement on... Mm -hmm. you, we've got different types. Mm -hmm. But the one that we can agree on is Ryan Felipe. Mm -hmm. Because I think that's what anybody ever says about, like, when was your sexual awakening? I think most people was Cruel Intentions. I'm probably a bit young. I watched what? Cruel Intentions when I was a little older. What age are you? I'm, like, probably 18 or something. I don't like know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm 29. Um, oh, it's soon. But 
I don't know. I didn't watch it until I was a little older. I don't oh, know. Really? My sexual awakening was a fucking hose. Like, <laughs> sorry. Anything I could find. It didn't need to be personified, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe Kovu from The Lion King. Kovu? Which one's that? He was like the young bad boy lion. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's fat man, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Cruel Intentions is wildly hot. Yeah, I remember it's watching so it thinking, hot. fucking hell, man. That's oh. like, wow. Oh. Just imagine, like, a little, I was like 14 and I was like, mm. this is sexy. <laughs> um, it was when uh, he's, what's it called, when Ryan Felipe is uh, uh, getting changed after being in the, and you see his bum. Like, it's amazing. Oh, uh, shit, this made me a homosexual mama. <laughs> 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 If it wasn't for that fucking film, my parents could have been proud. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Damn Were they upset? ass. Were they upset that you're gay? Nah, they're famous. Oh, that's not, good. So. That's good. Now. It makes a decent joke, though, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's good. But I, I think they were in denial about it, but they're in denial about fucking everything. Yeah, okay, okay. So, like, when I when I told them that, they were like, maybe not find the right girl and all that stuff. Yeah. And then... Yeah, but then I think they just kind of like, oh, fuck it. You yeah. I'm not good at being controlled, so. <laughs> okay. So it's probably not worth it. He's not vaping at the moment as well, so let's not put up an argument <laughs> against him being against God. Oh, um, yeah. God, God think, hates it. I'm trying to think as well of, like, who else is... Because people tell me celebrities and stuff, mm. and then I'm always like, I've, no, I've got such bad... My like, pop culture references end hot? of the year 2000. Well, okay, Ryan Gosling. That's a pretty famous. No, I'm not into Ryan Gosling. No. Yeah, okay, I am. Um, really? Yeah. Um, I used to get told I looked like him when I had my, was when I had my wow. head shaved. I made, I know, Aww. yeah, I know, I didn't <laughs> like anyone I told this to was like really, <laughs> but like. No, that's great. No one wants to hear they look like someone unless it's the literal hottest person. You know. Oh no, I get all of them. I get like, I get all the bad ones as well. It's the, but it's the worst. People tell me things as well, and I'm like. I don't want to. I don't want to look like that. Also, it's always just like, oh, they've got red hair. Like that's it. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Like, Mine's yeah. face shape apparently for yeah, Ryan Gosling. When yeah, I shave yeah, the okay. thing, but apart from that, maybe the nose. Mm, yeah, yeah. And I maybe the that, eyes and like the six pack and, and like the and general sex appeal. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. absolutely. Yeah, it's like they usually say that, but they're drilling when they're saying yeah, it. Yeah, so yeah. I, I don't know. Of course, of course. Um, <laughs> 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 uh, but also, I get the scream from you know the scary movie mask. Oh, uh, yeah. From when he's, when Jesus. The, <laughs> I usually get that sex appeal for you. Awesome. <laughs> um, I'll zoom in on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, usually I usually get the ones that are pale characters, but the Ryan Gosling, I never saw, but all my girlfriends were like, just completely like obsessed with him. Mm. Um, he caters to the female gaze quite well. Oh, oh though, hold on. Were you a Twilight girl? I was. Not anymore. No, no, I mean, yeah, I've actually been dying to rewatch it, especially with this weather. I'm yeah, yeah, dying yeah. to rewatch it. Um, you know, it's so funny. I just, <laughs> all I heard was the theme music from Twilight. Yeah. And then that, that little child that still lives in my subconscious <laughs> went, oh, we got to watch that film again to yep. see that pretty boy. <laughs> okay, um, which one? Uh, I was an Edward person. Okay, I was definitely an Edward person at a time. But then I was also, uh, what's his name? I want to call him Jake. That's not his name. What's his name? The, the other one? The wolf guy. Yeah. Um, I don't know his name. I didn't. He wasn't hot enough to remember <laughs> his name. I wasn't a fan of him. I didn't like him either because he's. I, it's not that I have a thing again. I don't know. I've, he, I get. I got real short vibes from him. Oh, uh, yeah. Those not that on. I've ever had like a. Oh, I, I like. I suppose tall when guys. you're on four, when you're on four legs, you tend to be short. <laughs> Wolves tend to be shorter than humans. That's a great point. Yeah. <laughs> I was definitely a big Edward fan, but I'm not now i think because uh, this is what i was saying to you the other day it's like when guys look really young mm. that's not for me yeah and it's not like it's it's not like really young it's literally any younger than me and that's not for me yeah yeah yeah. i'm sure this will change as i get older are you gonna become one of those creepy ladies with big long nails and be like oh, i i mean can, you're uh, the yeah. same age as my son <laughs> Oh, like, I won't have a son, so it won't be creepy. Okay, okay, okay that's fine. Then. All right. <laughs> it's fine then. Um, no. I always like the ones of like that are just, you know, like the barely ju- eighteen. <laughs> oh yeah, totally. Yeah, it, oh, that's a funny thing though as well because my my partner looks younger than me, yeah. and people assume he's young, like young, young, and mm-hmm. I'm like, no, he's like thirty. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, but it's because so he didn't look like that when I first met him, yeah. and then I was like, all right. 
he was smoking at the time mm -hmm. and then he was like oh i'm getting like old and stuff and I, he was like what are you doing with your skin so i was like i got him into retinol mm -hmm. i got him into vitamin c got him into all the skincare stuff oh and he stopped God. smoking now he looks so much younger than he originally <gasps> did but he's like he looks like a retired twink yeah so like, yep, okay and I, that's my type that's I your type i like the type of just like i like the type of past their best like the yep. brown banana <laughs> kind of guy <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay i i I do enjoy that. Maybe somewhere between a retired twink and like a, not quite a bear, but like a little bit more husky. Like I want some, I want some hair or like a, I don't know. Oh, you know what we'd probably agree on? There's a footballer oh, yeah? who I've always found really hot. And uh, though he's, pretty much any uh, footballer. But now he's be. got, what do you call it? Now he's got like a uh, stubble mm. and stuff. Oof. And um, but he's kind of a wee bit built. Mm. Doesn't have a neck really. Doesn't have a neck. Not I do like a neck. You like a neck? I like a yeah, neck. necks are overrated. Wow. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I don't like, Get rid I don't of like it. like necks, yeah. It's a waste. <laughs> What's it for? It's a waste. Of There's literally no point to a neck. Choking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. When God created it, he was like, <laughs> hold on, there's a head and a chest, but there might be some kinky bitches out there. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only anatomical neck. reason I can think of, yeah, yeah. honestly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't think of one either. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been in Australia now? Uh, since March, middle of March. Oh, yeah. How's the, uh, how are the comedians here treating you? Oh, great, yeah. yeah. I've always, oh, I love all the Aussie comics. It's not as... Um, it's weird though because I always have my certain ones that I see in Sydney and the certain yeah. ones I see in Melbourne, even yeah. though we're all doing the same festivals. But it's then like I'm that. like, oh, I, I saw Cameron James in Melbourne. Yes. And I was like, oh, yeah, we'll have our usual catch up whenever we're uh, in Sydney together. That's yep. when we only ever gig together in Sydney. Um, okay. But yeah, I always think the, the, the Australian comedians tend to be really, really good. And it's weird because you don't have as many gigs. Mm. So it's, you know what I mean? Because usually in the UK, you have to gig loads. But I think mm. what I've heard during non festival time is Australian gigs can be so hard that I think you learn quite quickly because you think, well, this is a bar full of people and fucking, yes. like, there's yes. TV on behind That's me. That's a huge part of it, for yeah. sure. Especially, like, I'm from Queensland and I started there and it's like, have you been to Queensland? Uh, yeah, I've been to Brisbane. Brisbane. Yeah, yeah. Especially once you leave the city, <laughs> anywhere else. Yeah, it's yeah. It's just fucking nightmare. It, like, maybe eight out of ten gigs are like that, ambushing the crowd just at a pub. Right. You can hear the pokies in the background. Like, it's... So bad, and it def it does make you get better faster. <laughs> Although I think there's well, there must there there's a reason why your audiences have been more hard. It's also because <laughs> you can have hobbies here. So like my okay. friend Becca just moved here, and she said it's mental how many Aussies actually have hobbies. Yeah. So like yeah, it's just because you've got the sun and you've got like yeah, a lifestyle right. thing. In the UK, people don't tend to have hobbies. Mm, like they mm -hmm. tend to just drink or watch TV. Or go totally. to gigs. The weather's like this all the time. Yeah. And then you're going to oh go God, well, here, like, you can be like, oh, I surf or I rock climb. Yeah. Oh. Hiking. Yeah. All of the water sports. That's a great point. Um, So you've got more stuff to compare it to. Because I'm thinking, if I lived here, I'd never go to comedy. Yeah. Of yeah. all the things to do, I want to sit and watch somebody else. Oh, that's totally like, the vibe. That's oh. absolutely <laughs> it. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, no wonder the hard audience. Yeah. I'm like, fuck this, man. I've got other things I can do. Oh, they do not respect it at all. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I don't think anybody respects it as a no. job anyway. Nor should they. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think James Acaster summed up perfectly in, the, in his special a couple of years ago. It was so funny. But he said about how it's weird of like how... Um, like, he'll know mo the most about comedy in a room, mm -hmm. but still he's somehow having to try and get the uh, other people in the room's approval. Mm. And he's like, well, how does that make any fucking sense? <laughs> no. Yeah, it's weird. It's a weird thing to be so into. That's fun, right? I know. I think... I think this is us just being insecure, though. And even oh my god, so yeah. so deeply, it's so yeah. embarrassing. It sucks, man. It's I've like bipolar. I told you the other day. I'm like, when I'm up there, when I'm high, I don't feel insecure. I feel so fucking good. Yeah. It's really annoying to have that to compare it to. Yeah, yeah. Because when I'm down, I'm like, oh, remember, like, uh, first of all, I'm embarrassed about ever thinking I was n not a piece of shit. Oh really? <laughs> oh, That's yeah. so cool. I, I was driving the other day and I was being like, I'm so embarrassed about the times I've ever thought I was hot. Yeah, which yeah. is wild. I've, my my show is called Hot Girl Stuff. Like I'm literally, I'm so often being like, yeah, I'm so hot. And then I feel like shit again. And I'm like, 
that's so embarrassing. You're a worm. Like, <laughs> how long does the things last? Like, how long does your like the down lasts a lot longer? <laughs> oh, mate, it's not as well when you give me medication that the like, the medications to balance you, and you're like, no, 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 no. Can you give me the medication for when I'm really happy? I want the high. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, I'm not even medicated. Um, it does. It's like gotten better as I've gotten older, and I had a, I have a lot of coping mechanisms that I've learned over the years. But you know, sometimes I get bad at. St- Staying on top of those things yeah, and yeah. it gets worse. But my psych was basically like, you have this script. It's there if you need it. Mm. But I trust you. You seem to be fine right now. <laughs> See, that's why you shouldn't pick your own one. Like, <laughs> 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 I yeah. think that should be a thing. We should not be in charge of picking our own therapists. Yeah. All your friends and your family friends. Yeah, okay, should okay. be in charge of picking your therapist. <laughs> Because otherwise, it's a bit like they're the ones who have to deal with the shit when it yes. hits the fan. Do, what kind of therapist do you think your friends would pick for you? Oh God, Actually, not a man that you want to fuck. Absolutely, it would be. <laughs> I'd be like a Miss Trunchbull type yeah, therapist. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, my <laughs> mate Fern has been trying to get me to see this uh, autism therapist. Mm-hmm. Um, because the like she's had like they've they've been really good. Um, but then I, so I usually see the CBT one and then I was just thinking I was doing CBT and then my therapist was like, no, you, um, I've been doing different therapy with you because the CBT doesn't work. Oh God. And I'd be like, I feel as if I should have been told about this. Like, oh my God. <laughs> so, uh, but then, cause all, all the CBT stuff I always found was like, yeah, obviously, mm. obviously th- this is how things happen. Cause it's all That's dominoes. exactly how I feel. Yeah. Isn't it annoying? I'm always like, yeah, I I get why. Can we figure out how to fix it? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. I used to oh. go into my therapy uh, cause I went to this different therapist cause basically <laughs> the thing of like, that's why I knew so much about bipolar cause I had to research all the things I'm going what the fuck is wrong with me? Yeah. So then, uh, <laughs> but then I went to this other therapist that was basically whenever I'd have a like something that would not work out well because if I'd said something to somebody and I upset them and I wouldn't understand why I upset them and then I'd apologize mm. and then I'd get told that my apology wasn't good enough oh. but at the same time I'd be like, oh, hold on, but my the, the reason why the apology probably didn't come across as good enough is I'm still confused of how this has happened. Yeah, You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So it's a bit, like, obviously you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings, but if at the same time you're apologizing, you're concentrating and ruminating and thinking, oh, hold, I don't understand. Why am I though. apologizing? Why is this wrong? Yeah, 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 yeah sorry totally. That, it's a bit like, I'm sorry that I made you feel sad, but yeah. I don't understand why you're sad. Yeah. So then, um, so basically I used to go to this therapist and be like, okay, this is what the argument was. Can you tell me what I'm supposed to say yeah. to make my apologies sound better? Because apparently they're not good enough. <laughs> so I literally fucking write in front of the therapist going, okay, I'm really sorry I hurt your feelings. I did not mean to. And I'd have to write a paragraph out and oh I'd memorize God. it and then <laughs> take it into a situation. Oh, wow. That was, was it helpful? No, it didn't even fucking work. Some, some, <laughs> something, <laughs> exactly. Something... Sometimes when people are annoyed at you, they just want to be annoyed at you. Yeah, this is a weird thing. Because I'm such a sucker for an apology. If somebody apologizes oh. to me, I'm just, I'm usually, there's only like three, there's only three people I, I know I'm not allowed to forgive. Oh, okay. Because since I'm too, so forgiving, yeah. my mates and my, like, and my partner, I've been like, right, the thing they did yeah. is does not, m- means that you're not allowed to, you should not have yeah. to accept the apology. Yeah, right. You need to, you know that thing of fake it till you make it when yeah. it comes to self worth. So, like, if you have worth in yourself, you should know that. No, I should not allow that person back into my yeah. life. So, oh. so there's only like a, there's only a few people with that. But anybody else, you can fuck me over until like a couple of years ago. You could fuck me over so bad, and if oh you apologize God. really nicely, I'd be like, oh well, they must mean it. Like oh. the words are coming out of their mouth, oh. so they must mean they're sorry. Oh, that's very sweet. Oh, no, it's so dumb, it's though. It's so dumb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's I think so it's, just, it's easier. Holding a grudge is hard, man. Yeah, it's exhausting. Yeah. And I, no, I, I get you. I, I, I struggle to hold a grudge also because I don't remember. I'm honestly like, what did I eat yeah, yesterday? Yeah. You know, I, I've said to my boyfriend, I'm mad at that person, right? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, why was that again? <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny though. I've, I remember my partner pointing this out to me. He was like, "You get." He was like, "Larry, you get so stressed yeah. over little things." And he says, "And think about." And, it, and it's been ever since we've gone out. So like two years ago, he's so stressed over little things. And if you think about it, 
what were you stressed about this time mm-hmm. last year? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I can't remember. And he went, yeah, and you put so much energy into how stressed yeah. you are. It's pointless because you're not going to remember it. But the thing is, my, my boyfriend's like the most laid back person in the world. I mean, he sounds amazing. Yeah, he's fucking great. That's he's perfect. Great. Oh, Actually, cute. Delete that. I mm-hmm. know <laughs> you um, love him. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah. God, he's going to think I'm gay. Um, <laughs> but he, he's, uh, yeah, everybody always raves about him. Yeah. Um, to me, like, and all my mates, when I was coming to Melbourne, I mean, this is probably not good for my self esteem. Mm-hmm. When I was coming to Melbourne, they're all going, is, is Mikey going, yeah? And I'm like, yeah. No. <laughs> oh, oh my god. I love it though. I love. I love how they, I'm good with somebody that everybody else loves. It's good. Yeah, that's so nice. I actually have the same thing. It's lovely. And I, think I was only I only came here because I thought your boyfriend was gonna be here. So. Fuck. I'm yeah. so sorry. Um, he's at work. I'll I'll, I'll get him to Uber home. Um, he's so lovely. I think it's the first time I've dated someone like that as well, where everyone loves him. Yeah. It's just great, and like, cause he's a comedian as well, so everyone. My friends knew him already, you know, um, everyone knows him, but I've never met anyone even before we were dating t- who had a bad word to say about him. I'm like, wow, this is great. So this hold on. Awesome. No. What? The, hold on. No. So like previous, have you, did you tend, do you tend to have a bad type? Cause since you already met through like, you've already got, fr- this is what I've got with my yeah. current boyfriend. Yeah. We'd already knew each other cause he's a comedian and an oh, actor and stuff. So we already so knew good. each other. But then before that, my the type i would go for and i'm not like not slagging off exes or whatever i just yeah. know what my type i would actually go for yeah is people that usually my type would be people that are not giving me their approval so i feel like yeah. i would try yeah. harder and harder and harder yeah totally oh, cool. avoidant attachment kind of kind of that sort of shit so your eggs are all avoidant attachment kind of um thing. uh yes when i was younger certainly a lot more of that um, they all sound hot now, by the way. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. Uh, no, not all of them. Absolutely not. Uh, uh, there was a bit more of that. I never really wanted to date or be in a relationship, so I would fall into things. But then often I would be like, like really into a way older guy who would be like exactly that, just me dying for his approval. Um, I didn't get a lot of that. And then the last few years before my boyfriend, I didn't properly date. Mostly, mm. I just slept around. I fucked everyone. Um, <laughs> and then there was... And a girl. <laughs> there was one of those types who did the whole, um, I'm not going to give you what you want. And he told me as much. I, I remember he told me, um, oh, I, I don't like relationships. And I heard that and I thought, I reckon I could... I reckon I could win. I yeah. reckon I could actually prove you wrong. So it wasn't so much uh, him not giving me what I want, but I, I just wanted to win. And then I did. And he cheated on me immediately. Yeah. But still, I made him fall in love with me. And then I ended up breaking up with him uh, and being like, oh, I never liked you. I just wanted to win. It was not You're good. very honest, though. <laughs> like, fair play to you. Oh, so I, <laughs> oh no, but at the same time, I, I love it when someone's so honest of like, you've literally said, I was so, so toxic. I've got so much respect for you. I'm like, cool. At it least was you're honest. so bad. But it was like, uh, not, th- not really a pattern of, s- of such in that way, you know? It was kind of just a standalone thing. Me being like, I think I can change this. But then you know what? I think, I don't know why, right? But I think it's more common with Aussies for insecure like to if someone makes you feel insecure mm-hmm. that you want to get with that person because really? yeah well i don't know why it is right genuinely but the so back in i think it was 20 2020 yeah 2020 yeah um before the world shut down it was like there was a pair of french mm-hmm. and i was single and I was on Grindr, mm-hmm. and me and this other Scottish gay comic were on Grindr, and we were like, awesome. ch- and we're, we said to each other, like, have you been with anyone since you've been here? I was like, no. And I was mm-hmm. like, same, absolutely nobody. And I was like, even the Munters don't want to fucking <laughs> be with us. And I'm like, <laughs> but then uh, we chatted to the guy who owns the gay bar uh-huh. there, who's also Scottish, and he went, oh, you're being, he's looked at the messages, he went, oh, you're being nice to them. He was like, yeah. don't be nice yeah. to them. He said, "Here they want you. The, you want they want you to make them so feel s- like utter shit. And if you make them feel like utter shit, then they'll find you attractive." And I'm like, "What?" <laughs> so literally, I'm messaging this person and saying, "You look really, you look really hot," or uh-huh. whatever. They were like, "Ugh." Uh-huh. I think I look hot. 
But I'm me. Ugh. Yeah. Oh my god, it's because they're also insecure. What the fuck? Yeah, but then I'm like, oh, fair enough. I should probably move here. This that's my type. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Well, but how did each of us get into nice, secure relationships now? Totally by accident. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, it was the only Mikey's the only person I've not chased, and uh, I did chase. Then he ended up not going out of his. There's a big long story of it. <gasps> okay. But um, it was during lockdown that I was uh, the first lockdown that I was chasing him, and he just uh, it wasn't he wasn't interested, but he ended up going out with somebody else. Um, but basically, then he said he realized he fucked up. And then when I got in my last relationship, he mm. was like, right, I'm going <gasps> to... Apparently, he sold his phone so he could uh, afford to stay up at the Edinburgh Fringe for oh. a few nights to hang out with me. Oh, my God. And we hadn't actually chatted in, uh, like, in person. Oh, my God. Yeah, he put all his like, eggs in that. Wow. And then I was like, when he didn't tell cute. me this until a few months into of I was course, going out, and course, I was like, my God, that is <laughs> creepy. <laughs> <laughs> so cute, though. Oh, man, we've, we've, we've ditched friendships. We're talking all about romantic relationships. Yeah, but both it. our partners were like, what is it called, friends before yeah, yeah, we met. So yeah. that counts. That still counts. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you were you were diagnosed with autism relatively late, right? Like, was it it was in your yeah, adult life? Oh, yeah, like uh, last year. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Um, actually, getting onto like friendship stuff. Did you kind of look back at your childhood and have a few things make sense after that? Um, yeah, but you know what the the weird thing with <laughs> the weird thing with my diagnosis was literally. I mean, I never. I only the only reason why I talk about it on stage as well is just because I was like, oh, I've thought of some funny jokes here. Yeah, totally. Um, but then when I got it, I was a bit like in denial about it, which apparently is really normal. And yeah, then okay. I was thinking, then it just makes you kind of go into like family things. Mm -hmm. And I don't even know it's on myself, but I know it's, I'm like, fucking hell, I'm like, I'm like the least autistic one out of everybody <laughs> at this table. Um, yeah. And then, because uh, I think that's probably what the, the diagnosis does more than anything it just makes you more aware of what autism autistic stuff is mm -hmm. and then obviously there's that weird thing of like if you don't come across as if you don't have the same like autistic traits that somebody else who's autistic has and that person so for instance if i met somebody who's got uh who's autistic it doesn't mean that they're going to have the same traits yeah, totally. as another person yeah but some people think it does yeah right like, oh but you're not and it's like mm -hmm. i'm level one i'm like like high functioning and that. Mm -hmm. So there's loads of things that, there's probably even things I haven't even realized that I do that are autistic. But one of the things is, <laughs> what's funny actually, is when you said you your sexual awakening was with a hose, that was my autism awakening. Cause I realized <laughs> during the test, they were like, did you have any fascination with like, uh, I think it was like, there was like a few things like patterns or like uh, lights or, or water. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my God, like m m throughout my childhood, I was obsessed with water. Like yeah, I right. washed the car all day. Yeah. Okay. Um, so uh, because I just love the way that uh, like it, the basic, I love the way that you can, <laughs> you, know, you, in, you know if you put a finger <laughs> like in. Like control it and yeah. maneuver it. And yeah. Stuff? I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, oh, it's yeah, amazing. Yeah. I love watching I, it. I really relate to you there. It's, oh really? Yeah, it's oh, very you pleasing. You're, you may be autistic. I, you said that last the, the last week or something. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna convince you that you're autistic. Don't. I'll. I'll. Hey, you're not the only one that's toxic. I'm gonna gaslight you into thinking you're autistic. I will love that. Yeah. I'll absolutely love oh, that. Oh god, it's no. getting hard in here. <laughs> We're both being toxic. <laughs> no, as I told you that I um as a kid would wear beach shoes everywhere because i didn't like my in. my feet touching the ground like grass bark sand anything i didn't like the texture of the ground underneath me that is quite yeah that is quite autistic <laughs> it is a thing with socks i mean i'm not that bad when it comes to socks but it tends to be it's quite a standard trait is to like hate hate certain feelings on your feet i mean i hate mm -hmm. certain sounds yep or like um certain feelings of things but then um nothing in particular that would make me neurodivergent do you know what i mean yeah yeah. yeah. But i think that thing of that know, one can be self, like that. Self <laughs> what good will it do for me if i get myself checked i don't know because i'm wondering because there's a big correlation between ocd 
and autism and obviously ADHD and autism. Mm -hmm. I don't know, and I'm borderline personality disorder and autism, but I don't know about bipolar. I mean, it's all the same shit. Yeah, exactly. It's all the Why don't you just well, shit. neurodivergence is such a long word as well? Can we not just because it's not fair? It's not fair in the dyslexic community. We should just all <laughs> just start saying <laughs> fucked. <laughs> okay, I agree. Yeah, I agree. I'm fucked. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's just bit. like. No, not mental health awareness. Let's just be like, we're all fucked. That's <laughs> <laughs> so much easier to remember. I agree. Okay, that's perfect. I think that's sorted. Um, <laughs> I think we've gotten to this time in the podcast where I play sleepover games with my guests. Cool. Are you excited? Yeah, I wonder what sleepover <laughs> games you played. Um, I've got a Mine, I've got mine a was just, when would it be okay for me to go and have a wank? Oh my God. <laughs> <clears throat> was that a game that you played at sleepovers? Nah, no, 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 I didn't have any sleepovers with anyone I found um, hot. Oh, really? Um, no. I found everyone hot as that's, a kid. That's, that's an autistic trait. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> that's the fun thing with autism, <laughs> is you could just say everything's a trait. Oh my God, you like popcorn? <laughs> Maybe I may have a level pretty. two in our it's hands on here. The camera. <laughs> no, definitely not a level two. Um, um, okay, so I've got some games here. The first one's Would You Rather. Okay, yeah, I play this. Very before, classic okay. one. All right, so okay. Uh, okay, I'm ready. Would you rather be pantsless all the time? You can never wear pants. Yeah. Ever, or not be able to use any kind of transport other than walking. Um. Hold on. Pantsless is as in trouserless. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pantsless all the time or only be able to walk places. Mm -hmm. um, I'd rather only be able to walk places. I love walking. If I don't walk enough yeah. in a day, I go mad. Yeah. Okay. And would you just base yourself somewhere that you're like happy to be forever? Yeah. Because you can't. Oh, you yeah. Can I can't fly. fly anywhere. Yeah. Oh, no. I know. It's big. Oh. But then, I do, to be fair, I can't imagine flying being particularly useful if you can't wear You pants. can wear a dress oh, or a skirt. Oh, cool. Oh, actually, or can I just go wear for a coat? Yeah. Okay, cool. Actually, you know what? <laughs> Thank you for, <laughs> for really getting into detail. Okay, it's I, important. I, I'll, I'll go with the pants this Okay, one. okay. All right, great. Good answer. Me too. Oh, actually, no. I think I would probably just base myself somewhere and then go walking. I love really? walking. Yeah, but walk it, walking is good, but you still I walk even though you've got... Mm, yeah, but imagine never being able to go on like away on a holiday, go to any I other country. Ne I never go on holiday. Really? I haven't been on a holiday, a non-working holiday in uh, about 10 years. You should go on holiday. Yeah, I'm really tired. Yeah, go on holiday. <laughs> it's all right. I barely work. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> no, but I mean, Aussies don't have that good and I like good uh, options when it comes to holidays. No, no. I've like, only been overseas a, a few times, and it's always to Thailand. <laughs> yeah, um, and I don't find that I don't find that, like that part of the world particularly relaxing because it's too close to the equator, so it's always like oh, really humid. Oh, it's all right if you're at the beach. You just no, because then I get really stressed out that I'm getting sunburn and I'm going to age young. Oh so, my uh, god! <laughs> Europe's the best. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. What well, if, if I based myself in Europe? Then I could just walk all over Europe. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. I would do that. I and don't know. I guess I could go pantsless. Oh no! But hold on. If you lived in the UK, you'd have to swim, then, wouldn't you? Do you have to swim? You can't walk from the UK to. The <laughs> I don't know anything. Don't look at me. Yeah, like you'd that. have to get a ferry, but that's against the rules. That's you know, there's any other transport apart from walking. I could swim. Is it far? Um. Yeah, I don't okay. think many people can do it. Fuck. Yeah, there's a big thing about this in the news. <laughs> oh my god, there was a thing about this in the news. No, I'm just, it, was, it, was, it was me just subtly saying about how boats are trying to like emig <laughs> uh, like of migrants are trying to get to the UK. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Right. Probably cut that. It's probably a dark joke. No, it's good. It's, it's dark, good. Though. I'm just not in on the news. No, no. I know, but it's at the same fine. time, it's me just These saying about. These guys love dark jokes. Oh, do they? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, That's we make plenty. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. Would you rather uh -huh. be the best comedian, like objectively the best comedian, but with no recognition? Uh -huh. um, or be objectively really bad, but with like massive fame and success. Oh, that's so hard. <laughs> that's such a hard one. Yes. N absolutely no recognition. Yeah. Like 
your peers recognize you, but for some reason it's not translating to ticket sales or industry support or anything oh, like that. So basically it's the thing of you're amazing, but then you don't even sell any tickets. Mm-hmm. Oh, that, that would be so hard. And I know people that have a similar thing and I always feel so bad. Mm-hmm. I mean, every, everybody else plugs plugs them. Mm-hmm. And then it's it translates a bit. You know what I fucking love though? I love when I get to see there's some mental or like acts that you are so non-mainstream and then it just takes a while for like they'll have years of doing small was it called smaller gigs mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden it pops. Yeah. Um I you know what funny enough Sam Campbell in 2016 mm-hmm. um his show was on after New Order. Yeah. And and there was him <gasps> as an alien who'd come to Earth, right? It was so weird. Awesome. And not not that many people were there. And then I'm seeing him right now just selling out yeah. places. I'm like, it's yeah. so satisfying to see because the only people that were in the gig were other comedians finding yeah. it the funniest show ever. <laughs> and it's so satisfying to see when someone gets successful. Oh, it's like, the best thing to see. Um, However, when it comes to myself, what I would do for this game... I would be a shit comedian to get all the recognition. <laughs> at, at least, at least I live in a nice house. Yeah, I'd exactly. And also, like, that's not to say that you couldn't be good at something else, you know. And if yeah. you've got all of the fame and success there, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. Right. So, like, maybe you're a really good actor. So. Oh, so I need, a, I need to have a nice big house because, I mean, according to the other question, I wouldn't have any pants anyway. <laughs> so I'm a bit you like, I, stay home. Yeah, I need some privacy. <laughs> yeah, I'd be staying at home a lot. <laughs> Great answer. <laughs> okay. Oh, this question. Um, the next game is Fuck, Mary Kill. Okay, cool. Bit of fun. But I need to know, um, do you personally know Baby Reindeer? Yes. Oh, okay, crazy. Have you watched it? Yes. Did you see his show of it beforehand? No, I'd, I'd seen his other stand-up shows, but I haven't yeah, seen okay. that okay. show. Okay, okay. Good to know. All right. Oh, this is going to make it awkward, isn't it? <laughs> no. No. Um, fuck, Mary kill. Baby reindeer. Richard Gadd. Um, mm-hmm. oh, Martha, but the character. Right. Not the actor. Not the real person. I mean, the eh, no. The character, Martha. Uh-huh. Um, and the concept of having to do the free fringe in the way that he did in the show. Like where it's just terrible and no one's there and you're in a corner and it's makes you want to kill yourself and it's just horrible. How would I fuck or marry that? You can figure that out on your <laughs> own. I always do conceptual fuck marry kills, okay? <laughs> you're lucky it's only one. <laughs> okay. Um I would Okay. I'll marry Gad. Okay. And um, we'll both lead we'll both lead different lives. We're neither of each other's types. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> but uh, I'm married, God. Uh, <laughs> I'm assuming as well he's coming to a lot of money la- lately. Oh, yeah. So that's a fuck, oh, yeah. that's a good marriage. That's a there. very smart move. Hi, Richard. <laughs> um, but, the, um, but then I'll um, I'll fuck Martha. Mm-hmm. Is that her name in it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, because I don't want to get in legal trouble of like saying the real name. Uh, I fuck <laughs> yeah. Martha. Um, because she's so toxic. So you think she'll be good? Yeah. Yeah, obviously. Um, <laughs> and I'll kill the, the free. Uh, okay. The, that version of the free fringe. Not yes. The the standard free fringe is great. Yes, of version. course, of course. But you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Just, these. How political was that answer? I was that I, I'm proud That's of that. Well done. Yeah, I feel yeah. as if I should have an earpiece at the moment. And be like, I think she fell for it. <laughs> like. <laughs> no, you nailed it. Very God, diplomatic. Thank you. <laughs> that was one of the. F- I nearly had to phone a friend there. That was hard. <laughs> okay, okay. This is. I don't think this is going to be hard at all. Or no, I just I have my ideas about what you'll say, but all I don't right. know. I'm I'm curious. I'm going for a classic fuck Mary kill now. It's okay. just you. It's people. It's real people. Um, Billy Connolly, David Tennant, and Ewan McGregor. A lot of Scots. Okay, all the Scots. Mm-hmm. Okay, fuck you, McGregor. Great. Um, <laughs> uh, marry Billy Connolly oh. and kill David Tennant. Nothing against them, but one of them's got to go. 
one of them's got to go. And yeah. I am exactly the same. Okay, cool. So we've got some common ground there. You and McGregor, pretty hot, right? No, but no. You know what? Funny enough, the only one I find him really hot in is Train Spotting. Yeah, yeah. He's so he's toxic. Been in it. The, yeah, very yeah. toxic. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know. Moulin Rouge, man. I was obsessed with him when I was a kid. I, I would never watch that. Oh. It's something about as well, like it's the fact he's like um, a junkie mm. in Train Spotting, mm. um, and it's that thing of skinhead kind of like uh, I tell you it's got hot guys in it as well it's an Australian film Romper Stomper I know this name I have not seen it oh wait have I mm. it's a bunch of skinhead fascists I think I have seen it and I think I've seen a lot I, of skinhead I movies. think I can cure them oh, <laughs> like, oh. I can change them uh, well I mean yeah that's you're in a position where they might be open to it. You know, you're a white man. <laughs> I think that's a, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a safe bet. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. As soon Give as they realize they want to fuck them, then probably that'll then be Then they're it. probably going to turn. Yeah, yeah they're yeah, not yeah. going to love that, I don't think. <laughs> okay. Uh, the next game is called uh, Bend or Snap. Right. Now, it's basically like if your friend did this, would your friendship bend or snap? Like, is it, I'm are you going to be flexible? For this game. You're going to bend on everything. Probably, Because yeah. you're forgiving everyone. It depends. Okay. We'll see. Okay, bend or snap if they, um, if they heckle you, if they come to your show and they heckle you. <clears throat> um, okay. Bend if it's a friend. Mm -hmm. Although I've had guys that I've been interested in going out with that no. sat in the front row no and i'm like i did not heckle but i'm like do not sit in the front row of my gig <laughs> if i know you it is weird it's so weird and also there's other comedians that have like been in the past couple of years sat in the front row no. i'm like no but you know what i remember i did that for a comedian before because you, you want to see them but then at the same time that's mental so public announcement if I know you personally, yeah. do not sit in the front row. Actually, yeah. God, that means I'm not going to have a front row anymore. No oh, doubt. my God, no. <laughs> <laughs> I've done it. I did do it recently in Melbourne for a friend's show because it was quite no one was sitting up the front. And That's fine. Yeah, yeah, but no, absolutely. Usually but you that laugh. Is, of course. Yeah, of they didn't course. laugh. Yeah, no, I laughed. At, what? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they were yeah. like, they've been drinking all day, apparently. And they were oh, like, my oh. God. Awful. That's worth killing someone. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. It's not dramatic. But if a friend did it for heckling, bend. Because I've got funny friends. I'm assuming they'd probably just be trying to help. <sighs> yeah. My brother heckled me in my show yeah. in Melbourne. I was very unhappy with him. I played with it for a while. I gave him a few. Mm. And then I was like, shut up, Jesse. And the rest of the crowd's like, whoa. And I'm like, he's my brother. And they're like, oh. Uh, <laughs> tell you what, that's a th it's a weird thing with family doing stuff like that because it feels like they feel as if they, it's they own part of the show. Totally. And it's kind of, it's really disrespectful. <laughs> totally. Like, so Jesse, that's his name, right? <laughs> Jesse. Jesse, you're a fuckwit. <laughs> Fuck off. He's not listening to this. Come sit in the front row of my show. <laughs> <laughs> I felt really bad for yelling at him about it as well. Oh, no, don't. I was like, the, oh. the best story I've heard of that is Alison Spittle, uh, who's a really funny Irish comic. Mm. She kept getting heckled by an old guy in her gig. And then she said, um, she said, oh, shut up, granddad. <laughs> and then the audience kind of went up and like, oh, that's a bit mean. You know, he's maybe older, but come on. Yeah. And then... She, like she came by and told us and then she was like and it's so bad i fr i didn't tell the audience he was actually oh my, my granddad god. oh my god <laughs> <laughs> this makes such a big difference <laughs> oh damn that's funny so good. <laughs> um all right one last bend or snap and it's definitely not me projecting bend or snap if your friend makes everything about you being scottish <laughs> Um, bend. I, thank God, because I had a few questions on here with the, with the games. They're all just Scottish stuff. So. Oh really? Okay. No, it's weird. I find that the, the Australians ask me about Scottish stuff. I don't particularly mind. What really? I had a conversation about this the other day. What I hate, right? And this is a hatred that I think all Scottish people have, is if people only come and see your show because you're Scottish, mm -hmm. because it is literally. Sometimes 
me and other Scottish acts doing Australian gigs, we'll get Australians who just want to hear the accent. Yeah. And you're like, I'm like, I fucking, I've like worked in this routine and these jokes in this show. And then all, and afterwards they're like, oh, it's just nice to hear the accent again. I'm like, watch an old episode of fucking like, of still game or something. Yeah, you don't have to that's come so and see weird. Me. It's odd as fuck. That's and I'm just so like, weird. so it's like, so I could have just done the worst show of all time. Yeah. And you'd have loved it anyway, just yeah. because of how I talk. <laughs> and also a lot of people think that the Scottish accent is, um, is a benefit for comedy. I honestly, like, as in, like, it's good for it's, comedy? Yeah, because it's, it's like, funny. people like it. Yeah, yeah. right, right, I think right, it's a right, deterrent. Right. I think, I actually think it's a hindrance in comedy. Yeah. Genuinely. I, because in somewhere like Australia, where people struggle to understand anyone speaking slightly less Australian. Yeah. yeah. And in America. Totally. And in England. Oh, and totally. loads, of, loads of things, you put a video on social media, and immediately people will go, don't understand it. And that's it. So, like, remember when we chatted the other day about if you look hot in a video? Mm hmm uh, on social media, right? And it's not, I don't think it's like a necessarily like a, um, what do you call it? A, an immoral thing. But if you look like, if you, anybody, right? Any, the way anybody looks, if you've done yourself up to look your best, mm -hmm. you're much more likely to have an extra few minutes of grace when people are doom scrolling. Because they'll be, because yes. whoever is, whoever you're their type of, they'll be like, oh, okay, I'll keep watching this for a yep. bit longer. Yeah. And so I find that with the Scottish thing, though, people will take an interest in how I talk, but then a lot of people, and I think it's 50-50, will just go, oh, fuck that. Not not listen to that. I can't I can't understand the accent. God damn it, that's annoying. Yeah, so I'm just, I find that a hindrance. Yeah. I genuinely have thought yeah. recently I might actually start just doing an American character. I mean... It'd be fun as an experiment. Yeah, it would be fun <laughs> as an experiment, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're, we're having loads of banter here. That's what you say here, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, oh my God, okay. <laughs> so we're having a sleepover. No, I hate it. You hate it? Oh, whoa. <laughs> whoa, oh my God. It's really good. Thanks, mate. Oh, <laughs> mate, I probably wouldn't say mate. Thanks. No, you could say mate. It's like, a, like you're trying to pander to me as an Australian. Yeah, but, you know, I might be a straight character as well, and I don't want you to be my friend. <laughs> if you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> <Should I just laughs> this is a bit of fun <laughs> a bit, yeah a bit a bit strange uh, <laughs> that's what my therapists say <laughs> luckily they live in here <laughs> and they agree with everything i think <laughs> i don't know how well the reels will perform if you are doing this. i'm gonna do this okay i'm gonna do okay. it all okay. right one of the, one of the videos i'm just gonna go on stage as an american and i'm gonna talk and just have to deal with the English hating me, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get over it. Okay, tell me I how I sound more like please. an AI American. <laughs> I'll get over it. <laughs> please let me know how it goes. I'd love to update my wonderful listeners for this show. I do worry. I'll update your wonderful listeners as well. Right? <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? As soon as I've gone back to this, there's no. There's no character oh, in this. I'm not there's... listening at all. Yeah. Just, blah, 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 I'm not shara. listening at all. Oh my god! You should stop. talk more like me. Stop. <laughs> Stop it! Don't you dare! Don't marry! Don't do it! <laughs> We've got one more game. One more, okay. One more. It's truth or dare. Should I answer it or should I answer it? <laughs> you get an honest answer from me. I mean, Let's see if fair. I think you should do the dare, but um, okay. Either one of you can answer it. It's, okay, up, it's up to you. Okay, okay. <laughs> truth or dare. Dale. Yes. Okay. Because most would... people usually go with truth. What? Do most people usually go with truth? A lot do. Okay. People are scared. They think I'm going to make them stand up. And I'm like, why? I, you can do dares sitting down. I don't know. It's really strange. What's, I'm not worried. What, what, is it, what is it there? Well, don't be weird now. <laughs> okay. 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 What's it there? It's really simple. It's a really easy one. I dare you to start incessantly emailing Richard Gadd. Maybe like a few times a day. Right. I want you to do baby reindeer. You want me to do it? Right. You know what's funny? But like 50,000 times. What's funny? <laughs> uh, I've not done that. However, my mate said something <laughs> very funny. So last time I chatted to uh, Richard was about a couple of months ago. Mm -hmm. And um, it was basically just because a lot of my pals asked me, oh, can you give me like a skincare routine or whatever? Mm -hmm. So... I gave Richard 
a skincare routine. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> it was, what I love is I love watching Baby Reindeer knowing it was filmed before the skincare routine. And oh my God. I'm watching him on TV now. Oh, he's glowing. My oh skincare my God, routine really? is, yeah, 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 you should see I gotta it. I got to go look. Uh, but then, so I sent him this huge long email of like, right, do this, then yeah. this, then this, then this. Because I, I knew that he had like his show and stuff coming out. So I was like, stick to this and I promise you, you'll look good. Mm -hmm. So that, that we did all <laughs> this. And it was like fucking three pages long. This, this, because bear in mind, it's, this is my, like, my specialist subject. Um, and it just makes me so happy. I love making skincare routines for my pals. Oh so my then God. I, uh, what's it called? I wrote it all out. And then, um, uh, then I, another mate of mine two nights ago was like, hey, I, can you make me a skincare routine? And I was like, actually, here is the one I did for, what's it called? Richard, because he's pals of him as well. Yeah. Like, Here's one I did for Richard. Um, and uh, there you go. That's all the, what do you call it? And then <laughs> he was like, he read all of the fucking messages and he was like, sure, Martha's the one that's the <laughs> <laughs> was the incessant stalking. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Also, at the bottom of the email, because since I do it on my phone, my thing doesn't say... Sent, sent from my phone. Yeah, sent from my iPhone, but I put I as in A-Y-E because I'm oh, Scott. Oh, nice, Yeah, because nice, I am a nice. Scottish person. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so, so I, you've already done it then. Yeah, I'd say you've I've done already done it. Yeah, I can beautiful. do the truth. Do you, what's the truth? What no, no, we've already answered the truth. It, I was, I mean, it doesn't Oh, you were really going to have to think in your feet there. I'm I was like... going to have to, I, and I can't do that. I'm so tired. <laughs> That's why you were trying to do the there. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 no, okay, I've got, a, I've got a truth for you. Yeah. Do you really think that all of the skincare stuff works? Or do you think that some of it is maybe fake? Oh, some of it's bullshit. Some okay. Of, yeah, some of it's bullshit, but then you okay. need to just know what to, um, how to decipher it. Um because uh, and also the the problem is that people all have different types of skin. Uh, yeah, so something that works yeah. for me might not work for you. Totally. Um. But yeah, <sighs> I think I was lucky because um, usually when if so, there's certain skincare influencers I trust. Yeah. And usually they've all got different uh, like some of oily skin, some of combination skin. And mm -hmm. if they say something works, and so my pal the other day messaged me was like, "Oh, I've got oily skin." Mm -hmm. And then I was like, oh, fuck. Actually, the routine that I've got there would not work for you yep. like, if, you've got, if you've got oily skin. So then I'm just basically going, this person has oily skin. What do they use? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, smart. Like, yeah. All right. Well, maybe uh, you might get a message from me in the future. Yeah, anytime. We're requesting some advice. Absolutely. Fine. <laughs> You're just trying to get his email address, aren't you? No, I'm like. not. Oh, my God. Uh, no, he was, I mean... I'm sure he's a lovely guy, but was incredibly unlikable in that TV show. <laughs> Holy <laughs> moly. Oh, my God. That's really good, though. Very, very good. Yeah, yeah. It's, so, it's mental everybody's talking about it. I, I know. It's I only huge. saw him, like, I saw him, like, last year. And then, uh, was it last year? I think it was earlier this year. It was a BBC Comedy Award thing that yeah. you were judging. And then that's when I emailed him the thing. And then before that, I hadn't seen him in years. Yeah, right. But he's been, hmm. like, because after his stand-up stuff, because he... He doesn't really do that much stand-up yeah, anymore. And then yeah, he, yeah, yeah. But after that... So it's always the thing of like... Because he was doing acting instead. and uh, But then you just... What do you call it? If, so, if a comedian's not doing stand-up gigs... Because mm -hmm. it's not like... We're not close or anything like mm -hmm. that. Whatever. But you we, don't see him anymore. Yeah. We totally. Just, but then it, totally. We, we just started together. So it's a bit like... Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Cute. Anyway, this is the end of the episode. Thank you so is much it? for coming. Thanks for having us. Oh, my God. Of course. Do you want to tell Sorry the listeners? Sorry I was late. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. I want to tell the listeners where they can find you. Yeah, uh, you can find me in your dreams. <laughs> um, the, oh. I know you're gonna hate it. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fucking do it. I am gonna do that character, and I'm gonna make it work just to prove Chloe wrong. Um, so, Please. Um, oh God, look! I'm, I'm trying to get myself all cute for the. <laughs> hey guys, if you wanna, if you want to see me, um, how do I do this? Like. How do hold on? What is oh how do God. straight guys? The insecurities coming out. Yeah, how do straight guys <laughs> sit when they do this? Oh, I'm like me. Okay. Legs crossed over. I don't think I mean cuddling a pink pillow. Hi. Yeah, nice. Thanks. It's just straight passing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing the straight guy mouth breathing. <laughs> so, uh, if you want to come, if you want to see me, I'm doing a tour. Um, oh my god! <laughs> that was pretty straight, though, wasn't it? 
I mean, not the kind of straight that I'm around. <laughs> okay, hold on. The kind of straight that you like? Okay, this is getting better. Yeah, this is getting good. <laughs> Shh. Sorry. Quiet. Oh, my God. Be sharp. It's worked immediately. Oh, my God. You love it. <laughs> uh, if you want to come see me, um, I'm going <laughs> to get so distracted. If you want to come see if you want to come see me, I'm doing a tour. Um, uh, it's on my website. And um, I'm on Larry Dean Comedy on Instagram and on YouTube and on Facebook and Threads. Um, yeah. Threads. Nice. Oh, yeah. I don't like Twitter. Popping off on, on Threads? No, I don't have that many on Threads. It's literally just Who the thing does? of like... I don't know. I think it's like it's like the Twitter before Twitter got yeah, evil. Yeah, yeah. Twitter's so bad. Yeah. So I've got still got Twitter, but I want to get rid of it. So <sighs> I say Threads now. I'm I'm trying to like I'm trying to advertise Meta. Yeah, things. nice, yeah. nice. They need a bit of a boost. Yeah, totally. Yeah, thank you for that. No worries. It's all, right. all good. <laughs> thank you. Thank you guys you, for listening. What? What are you, you going to say? You're looking at me like, when's that toxic thing coming out again? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Thank you guys for listening. I love you all so much. Goodbye. <laughs>